I literally just opened up these buckets right here. And let me tell you, they stink. This is one of the reasons why I really just want to make sure these corals get into the tank as soon as possible. You see, if you think about it, we picked up these corals around 5 p.m. It's now 12.30 in the morning. That's about seven and a half hours of being in these buckets filled with water that was disturbed and from a tank that's been running for a year and a half. So a lot of detritus, there's a lot of things going on that I'm not too sure about and I'm too tired to explain, but I'm just gonna get these tanks, these tanks, these corals into the tank because I believe it's gonna actually be better for their health in the long run. Yeah, so I guess I'm gonna do that and then show you guys tomorrow. Cool. It's now the next day, AKA June 18, 2019. And I feel like since we're starting this whole new tank build series, I guess you could call it, I think the best place to start is actually to show you guys everything I acquired in this tank buy slash sale buy. I bought, they sold. And uh, I think the coolest part is you should keep in mind, I got all of this every single thing for only $350. And to be honest, my favorite stuff other than the brand new tank is actually a few pieces of coral that I've already put into Baby Beauty. But I'm gonna save that for the end of the video because right now we gotta talk about the plans for all the livestock and corals that I'm not gonna keep. And the answer is simple. I'm basically gonna flip them. See, when I inquired about the tank, I inquired about all the livestock as well. I asked for the price with just the tank and the equipment and I asked for the price with the livestock. Immediately once they gave me the price for the livestock also, I shot a text out to a few people that I thought would be interested in everything in the tank. Now I offered it to them for about $50. This is easily about $300 plus dollars worth of coral, but I'm offering it to them at a great price for a simple, simply a few reasons. One, I can't fit everything in Baby Beauty. The new tank is a little bit bigger and it just won't work out. Two, I'm not really a fan of the corals that I'm selling right now. Three, I'm offering it at a great price because I don't want the corals to die. And four, the corals actually have a little bit of neglect, so they're going to need some TLC. That's why I'm offering everything for $50 instead of like selling it individually for over $300. Now, what I am offering and what I text everyone was a dark green hammer, which was like massive. It has some recession on the skeleton, but I believe everything can come back. A purple tube anemone, coral bandage strip, some GSP, like maybe a football size worth, like the whole circumference of it and a tiger pistol shrimp, some high-end zoas, some snails, and so on and so forth. All for 50 bucks. I just wanna make sure these get into a home that I, cause I can't take care of them. By the way, tank is still in the car. Do you have any guesses on what it is? All right, let me know in the comments below. I'm gonna let you know how all this goes in a second. Mission success. Everything is in the new tank and looking happy. We lost no corals in this transaction. And to be honest though, I feel like I am the one that came up short. There was a handful of corals that I didn't remember were in there, one of which being a encrusting monte the size of a softball and two hidden gems. I'm talking about tiny hidden gems. They're like polyp size, like a zoa polyp size. And they had a hard skeleton and it looked like they might have some tentacles coming out. So I'm thinking it might be like a baby fungia or a baby torch crow, but it's okay. They look insane, but I told him, I was like, these look so good, man. If they end up being torches, can I take one back? And he said, that was cool, fair enough, because those could actually fit in my tank. So that's the deal. Now, we did not exchange casts. He just moved from Louisiana to Austin and just started working yesterday at the hospital. So what we did was actually buy my reagents. We put it on his credit card and we picked up uh, magnesium, calcium, and alkalinity. The total for that ended up being about 60 bucks. And then you add the, t add the fact that he actually filled up my gas tank for 20 brings the total to about $80, which now brings my total build cost down to $250. Now, I felt comfortable making this investment on the corals because I felt really good 
that I could make my investment on the corals back. Even if we sold nothing, even if we just took all these buckets to the LFS and they gave me nothing for it, there was, there was one coral that I saw a photo of that I believed I can make the entire investment back. And that was this stunning cluster of mushrooms, which I can only assume is a bicolor Yuma, maybe a tricolor, depends if you think two different greens are two different colors. For sure, a tricolor of the same type of mushroom. And my favorite is this torch coral, which I don't even believe she knew was in the tank. I honestly had no idea those corals were in there. The only things I saw, the only thing I knew was in the tank was the photos that I showed you of all the corals I was going to sell and the photo of that bicolor green mushroom. By the way, if you know what kind of mushroom that is, let me know in the comments below. The reason I decided to take the risk though was based off something I learned in trading and that's called risk management. There's a rule when trading that you never risk more than you can make. And when I saw those mushrooms, I knew that based off the price she was asking for the entire livestock, I could make back more than I was willing to risk. I saw the hammer, I saw the tube anemone, I saw all the other corals, and I was like, these are some beautiful pieces, especially that hammer. The hammer was like a kryptonite hammer. She wasn't shy about spending money on corals, so I knew that there was a potential that there could be some hidden gems. So I recognized the reward, I analyzed the risk, and I acted upon it. It's crazy. It's, I honestly learned that from day trading. Now, I think it's a good time to actually go over some of these previous comments. First up, we have Lego Zombie Mock Maker. He said, they should have given you a new tank. I mean, I don't know if they needed you that. They had a recalls on these tanks a long time ago, but I appreciate the support. Next, we have Aquariums of Penisola. Is this the video you said in your live stream that you'd be uploading tomorrow? No, um, actually, this is the video I said I'd be uploading tomorrow. I plan on posting videos almost every single day this week to get this build going. Uh, Reef Girl, RIP Baby Beauty. But it'll be cool to see what's next. I mean, yeah, I totally agree. Rookie Reefer, oh yeah, stepping it up into the world. Keep this one clean. Rookie, ooh, Rookie, you trolling, man. You trolling, you trolling. You know ugly tank syndrome, man. <laughs> Appreciate you, brother. Inappropriate Reefer, end of an era, but looking forward to the new system. You and me both, brother. Sky High Reef, my Micro 30 has the same glass, no problems for three years now. Tank is five years old. Keep it up, sir. Yeah, I mean, I totally get that. Honestly, if this was my home, I would probably risk it because I haven't had an issue and the tank is older, but it's not my home and I don't want to risk my in-laws expensive wood floors. Mike Lemming, yo, you got this. Better to do it now than to let it flood the room. I totally agree, man. I, yeah, I literally just said that. <laughs> Small world. All right, guys, that's it for the video. In the comments below, let me know if you have any questions, concerns on trading, on fitness, on reef tanks. What did you think about the coral haul? What would you have done in my situation? And while you're down there, hit that like button, subscribe, stay positive, tap the bell, and don't forget to do amazing things. <sighs> like stepping up the editing on this video. You guys like it? You notice? Let me know. Let me know. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. All right, peace.